guys, this is Drea Boland from freesaloneducation.com, and tonight we're going to be going over uh, a really quick, simple technique that you can use in the salon called TZ Highlights. It's one of my favorite things about this is it's just really soft and dimensional color, very quick and easy to apply. We're going to start off by sectioning the hair off into four quadrants, starting with parting the hair down the middle, and then from the top of the head right behind uh, the ear to start off our front section. And, you know, I like to work with uh, Zulu knots when I'm in the salon just because it keeps everything clean, organized, neat, and out of my way. Taking a slight diagonal section, I'm going to um, section my panel about two inches thick, just so that I have a good amount of hair that I'm working with. Once I have the hair clipped up out of the way, I'm going to use a small paddle brush to pretty heavily tease the hair, um, so I kind of thin out that section and to be so that the look is very diffused. And then I'm going to take my lightener and I'm going to stagger lines from about midway down from the hair. This allows it, me to have a little bit more control over making sure that line is very soft and diffused. So often I see um, teasy techniques where the hairdresser has just teased the hair really tight up against the head and just slapped the lightener on there and not really taking the time to draw that lightener in there and give it that nice soft look that we're gonna go for today. Now you can also, oh, our line is gonna be super diffused, but um, you can have a little bit more control over how soft you want the look, depending on how tightly you tease that hair. And when I draw the step, when I stagger the lines, I'm not really working in any particular order, just so that some lines are higher than the other. And I'm working it down until the very ends where I kind of soak the hair a little bit more in lightener. I want this look to be very gradual from, you know, just soft, soft color to the lighter ends. So you're not really sure when it got from the darker color down into the light. So this top section in particular is going to be really, really teased. You know, you can really personalize and play with this look a little bit by, you know, oh, where you want to put the longer lines, see if you want to frame them around the face a little bit more, or um, start them a little bit further down. It's really up to you as to where you want to see this color live. You know, so often people are afraid to do the TZ technique because it doesn't have a lot of control to it, but I think with being able this using this way it's going to show you or you're really going to know exactly where that color is working in the back I'm still taking uh, flight diagonal sections and um, working that brush right up to the scalp you can see I have a nice big thick ball of teasing right there at her nape and in the back, I start a little bit lower on the hair, just so that I have a nice, 
kind of subtle slope down. Still staggering those lines. Really working it down, adding more and more until I finally just kind of paint those ends. One of the things I am doing, you'll notice, is I am using two pieces of foil instead of just one. And I'm doing that just so that uh, those lines that I've drawn don't get disturbed by the ends that I have soaked on. But I definitely want to close those foils up just so that it kind of incubates it so I have a nice, even, consistent lift. And now working on darker levels of hair, you really do want to, it gets a little scary. And I like the foils because it gives me a little bit more of a security blanket. Also by folding those corners in, it helps lock the foils in place. So I know they're not gonna slip and slide all over the place. I think also what's important important is making sure that we use enough product in each of these uh, panels. Well, it's really, I like to get a good bit of lightener on my brush right before I draw those lines so that I know it's gonna sink in and do its job. You never wanna get through an entire color application and then find out as you're rinsing it at the back bowl that you didn't apply enough lightener and you have holidays or it just is spotty. really working that top section and you can see exactly how thin that last panel is that I'm working with and that's just going to help give a nice soft veil over top of everything. As we finish up this look, we'll see how quick and easy it has been to apply this color.
And now that we're done, you can see the finished look of just soft, subtle, gradual, well, darker to lighter, ombre-esque finish, if you will. I hope you enjoyed our video, and please continue to follow us on freesaloneducation.com.